Hello guys, welcome to another interesting video on your BFA channel. So basically today we got a question from a community post on a Flexim and we thought of solving it by making this video so that it could help you all to learn as well as the question who has posted he can also learn from this so basically if you see this is a model which i have received and if you look at we the model basically which you see now it is running is basically based on the logic which was required and which was posted onto the question so now let us look at some of the different views of this model so that you could get a view of so what i am going to do is basically i am going to run this model slowly so that you could be able to understand what the logic was supposed to be required so basically the uh, question implied that we need to batch or we need to palletize the activity on the red color palette so what this is going to happen is we are going to get a red color type palette which should only stop on this station and then the operator needs to carry two parts each okay and then he's going to palletize it on this palette and then once the quantity is reached to four the pallet is to be released from the station and the operator is ready for another work to be done. So this was basically the objective for this model that we need to palletize the uh, pallet on the station which is available on the conveyor in a batches of two. So now let us go and understand how that process flow will look like and if you are going to apply this process flow in your simulation model this logic you can apply it there also so let us look another workspace where you will be able to get a view of the process flow so this is a process flow which has been created basically to get this logic done okay so now if you could look at the green color palettes are basically moving empty we are not going to load those we are only going to load the red color palettes using this operator which is going to transfer the parts in a batches of two so now if you could look at what we have basically done is at the source you are going to basically get this in a station so basically what you are going to do is you are going to create a source which is going to create a token whenever we are going to get a pallet arrived here okay now what we are going to do is as per the logic it was supposed to be that only red color pallets are supposed to be loaded and that is the reason we are going to skip the green color pallets and we are only going to take red colors so we have put a decide uh, factor here which we are going to use in our process flow so the decide activity is going to basically allow the logic applied only on a red palettes and not on the green palettes so basically this is how it works so what we have done is we have created a token only for the red palettes then we decide whether that is a red or green then we are going to stop it on a conveyor then we are going to run and tell the uh, we are going to run a subflow for basically transferring the parts from this queue onto the pallet so basically this operator will then travel to the queue then he is basically going to load the part so let us see in a travel we have told the operator to go to the queue to if you look at the load you are going to see that the operator is going to load the items from the queue and then we are going to uh, load it from the queue the operator one is going to load it and the item which we are going to load is queue.subnode1 okay so once we are going to load that similarly as we need to do a batch of two we are going to load it two times then we are going to travel to the operator uh, by using the operator we are going to travel it to the station one there we are going to basically unload by using operator one the item which was available with the operator so we had two items at the operator so that operator will unload those it will and then the subflow will finish then the next subflow will start for the 
second batch of parts so first batch with two parts second batch with another two parts so once this is done what we are going to tell is that our palletization is done and hence we are going to release our pallet ahead okay so the advantage of this basically the process flow of this is we haven't applied the cycle time to this if you want you can apply the cycle time delay before this release and your cycle time for this station will be applied but we haven't applied the cycle time currently for this process flow hence it is running without application of the process uh, process time to the station but this is quite good because the cycle time is uh, replicated based on the operator travel time so the time gets captured based on the distance and the speed of the operator and the load and the unload time if you have applied to it so it would be more realistic but additional cycle time if it is required for palletizing here you can enter it here so this was the solution for that question that how can we batch uh, only the red pallets with two parts each making four parts at the end so basically this is the solution for this if you want the simulation model in .fsm file do reach us out at our uh, email id i will mention those details in the description you can also reach us out at our website theaverchannel.com if you want the answer to any of your questions you can reach us out from theaverchannel.com and you can also reach us out from our email id which will be available in the description for instant support and instant clarification of your questions and getting instant answers so that's all for today let us know how this video was for you did you got something informative to learn and was your question answered in a comment section do like this video do share it with your friends so that we can reach to a lot of people and support them if you haven't subscribed to our be ever channel do subscribe it today just for like informative content and educational content just like this so let us meet in another interesting video till then stay safe stay simulated